is Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and I'm just in the middle of making my little advent boxes for this year and I thought you know what I should probably record this and show you my process so um, this is using the Lawn Fawn tiny gift box um, die and I love it it's perfect size because if you've got a six by six piece of paper you can see it fits absolutely perfect the other thing I love about it it does come with all these extra um, little bits you can put on the boxes little bows I see I've got my little bows ready here I've started to make some of these to go on the front and I'm just keeping with the simple color scheme if you saw my December daily I'm going blue um, so I'm making some little blue boxes I'm just going to make 12 rather than 24 because we do already have our family Christmas advent calendar it's a big box that I did um, many many years ago actually and one of the things I'm thinking of this year is redoing it in blue because it's like traditional dark red but um, this is just the, for 12 days of Christmas that I'm going to do and if you have seen my videos before you'll know I'm very excited about Christmas this year because we've got family coming over and my daughter's coming back from England she's been away for a year so I'm actually going to do a countdown to the days that she's back um, because we've only got a few more weeks till she's back so this will be a little bit of a countdown for Louise's return so um, I've got the numbers on as you can see and I'm using the rest of my Kaiser number sticker sheet that I had left over from my December daily I'd used all of these little numbers for that and you see I've got some big numbers as well on here that I can use in these white so I want to say yep they're about an inch tall um, so they fit perfect on these boxes in fact I should just quickly measure these boxes it looks like they're an inch and a half square um, that way and just over an inch tall so an inch and a half square that way and just an inch that way so perfect little size to put little treats in um, I'm actually gonna just put little messages so um, I've been keeping little messages of things that she sent while she's been away so I'm just gonna print them off randomize them in the box and then um, just open them every day so what I wanted to do was just quickly show you how super quick and easy it is to use this die cut so if you've not come across this before I think it's something that is gonna be great to have in your stash and let me just move all these out of the way for now like I say I'm almost halfway through um, I was cutting the last few boxes and I realized that oh there it is uh, I realised that yeah it'd be something good to show on my channel so I've just got the last couple to cut and then these to stick so let me just move a lot of this stuff out of the way and then I can show you how quick and easy this is now I don't often do um, real-time voiceover when I'm doing process I prefer to do like a speeded up voiceover so you don't get too bored but um, for the purposes of this I thought yeah this should work because it is going to be super simple and a nice very quick video as well so I'm obviously putting it down with the imprint side down onto the pattern paper and I guess it just depends if you were having a directional pattern whether you need to be careful in which direction you put that now I usually run things through my scissors twice my big shot twice I'm just going forward and back with this and then you can see it comes out and it includes the score lines as well hopefully you can see that so I'm just gonna quickly cut the other one as well and then we will get on to scoring and then gluing so like I said if you wanted to do an advent calendar obviously it's a great time of year to do that so we'll count down. these also make really good Halloween treat boxes so I did use it last time for Halloween so when the little kiddies came around the house they add all of the candy already in the little boxes uh, and it's something a little different as well and it's it's quite therapeutic to sit there and um, just craft some of these things oh that was me set up I'm gonna sit down now and I mean I do have a bone folder but I wanted just to show you with these score lines I actually prefer just doing it with my nail um, it depends on the thickness as well of the paper that you're using I have used some of these are quite thin but this one is quite a thick piece that I'm using here so it's just a matter of pushing them all down on those score lines before we start to glue so 
I like to, because I want to do two of each pattern, I like to get all of the scoring done for the matching boxes. Now, of course, if you're going to do double-sided paper, this would look even better because the inside of your box would also have a nice patterned paper to it. Um, but I'm not too concerned. It's not going to be a gift. It's just something for our little family to use. So you can see I've got all of those done. Now, what I'm doing is just flipping it over that way. Uh, and then I am going to... What did I do? Here we go. And I'm going to use this. Now this is um, one eighth of an inch. Um, this is adhesive from scrapbook.com. And all I need to do is apply it to these little flaps here. Um, and I, I love to use this glue because it goes on so easy. It's very, very sticky. I don't need to worry about it coming undone. And as you can see, it rips off really well too. And it, you can see how much is in this. It just goes on and on forever. You could use a thicker piece if you wanted to. I do have, um, just quickly show you, I do have a thicker one. It's also from scrapbook.com. Um, I'll just show you the comparison. But to be honest, I like the thinner tape runner and you'll see why when I come to show you the little bows. It doesn't matter what size you wanna do. You can, like I say, get a quarter of an inch on these. The other thing I like, rather than using my little pointy tool, which is quite thick, is use this little weeding tool. And then that way I can just stick it in and can you see how quick and easy that comes off? Um, I think it's just, um, I've never used any other tape runner other than scrapper.com. So I don't know if this is true for all of, all of the different ones, um, but this one seems to come off really easy. You can see I've got no nails. Or even when I do get the manicure, the, you know, they're too thick to pick off nice little fiddly things like this. So having this little tool makes the job super easy. And so I've got the adhesive off for both of those and now it's the construction. So I'm just going to quickly try and show you how it's going to look when it's assembled. I hope you can see this. So I'm sitting it down the right way up and I've got my first side and then I'm just folding that in and I'm just going to match up those edges and then press the side so it's nicely aligned. And try it again on that side. I'm just pressing it in as I do. And you can see here, I didn't really score it very well at the bottom, but that's fine. I can do that now. And then I can fold that in. Now, the other thing about this tape runner is if, if you do want to move it, um, you can reposition it. You've just got to be quick because it, it is quite a strong adhesive. And then the rest of the box just gets folded down like so. And you can see, perfect little box, so cute. And again, try it on this side to show you. So you can see that's the top of the box. I'm constructing the sides first, which has got the glue on. Bring in the front of the box forward to those edges. And then the back of the box. Um, I think this would be a great craft to do with children as well because there's so many little parts to it. The cutting out, the scoring, the adhesive, the constructing. And then, of course, the fun part would be the decorating. So I'm going to just quickly do these as well just to again show you. Now, this is a thinner type of paper. Um, you can see just how easy that is. And I'm just going to fold those as well. Yes, I've got my little jar here on the table to collect all my bits. It's just nice to have it in reach on the desk rather than in the bin below. Being my bin is actually on the right hand side even though I am left handed. So turn that around that way so it's almost like Batman is facing me. And then I can go in again and it's just these two short sides that I need to stick. Now you will know, I'm sure, that it's um, sale time with Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And I wanted to let you know scrapbook.com are doing a 12 days of Christmas. And they actually have this great adhesive sampler pack as well. So if you've not used this tape runner before, check it out. Um, where is my little booklet? You get um, the tape runner, eighth of an inch, as I mentioned. You also get this double 
sided adhesive foam, tiny little dots which we're going to use for the bows. Um, and it does also come with a 6x6 double sided um, piece of paper as well, or adhesive sheet. So that is something I'm going to use in a project um, in the coming weeks. So I'm also going to be doing my 12 days of Christmas, but mine isn't going to be starting until the middle of December. And then I'm going to lead up all the way um, and finish on Christmas Day itself on the 25th. So I'm doing lots of different crafts, not necessarily layouts. Um, going to be a mix of product reviews and some Christmas crafts. Um, some things I've not shown before that I do generally do, um, but I just haven't recorded it for you guys. So um, I'm excited to share those with you. So if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button if it's something you'd like to see. I really do appreciate all the support from my subscribers. It really does encourage me to keep making more videos. And the other thing I was going to mention, I was just deep in thought then. The other thing I was going to mention as part of my 12 days of Christmas is obviously we're talking Black Friday sales and I have been saving all year to get myself a Cricut maker. So I am hoping it's going to arrive in time for me to also make lots of things with my Cricut machine. So um, that will probably also be a big part of my 12 days of Christmas because I'm going to be able to finally work with cut files, digital cut files, um, and also some of the fun decorative stuff for the house. So um, I'm looking forward to doing that. And obviously I've not had one before, so I'm a complete beginner. And I will absolutely be sharing with you my successes and fails of that. Now, the boxes are constructed. So you could see how quick that was. And the decoration really, I guess, is the most fun part about it. So some of this out the way I'm gonna stick my numbers on first and I have tried to randomize these so that it's sometimes it's on the left sometimes it's on the right and these are probably just a little bit too big for the box but that's fine I like the size of them and it just means it overlaps a little as you can see where this little part is but that's fine 11 um, gonna sit on my fireplace so I'm gonna enjoy seeing this stacked every day and so the final one day 12 which will be the day my daughter arrives I'm gonna actually include a message for her rather than the opposite way around so that's my numbers all done and I'm going to say put my little goodies in later but I just wanted to quickly show you this super quick and easy bow now um, I've just used this die which came in the set um, there are different ones as you can see there's like a smaller one the one where you can get the little bit that dangles down so I've used this one and this is the last one that I cut out now you can see here um, it's so simple if you're not sure how to construct these you use a couple of ways you can do you could fold them across so that you've got a little bit of dimension on that when you've put them down or you could have them flat like I've done. This one's got a little bit more dimension to it. And I'm gonna use some of this very very narrow, cut it off this time, because uh, I need to be quite precise. And you can see actually the bow width there is also one eighth of an inch. So this tape is perfect for this die if you wanted to tape that all around. But what I'm actually gonna do is use a piece of this and go straight across here. Oops, super sticky tape and then use my little tool to get that off again and then each side you've got like a little bit of a lip here and what I'm going to do is line that up to the center where that little extra strip is and you see they should fit quite nice press that down and again it depends how flat you want them um, and then this part we need to go straight over like this and around and again uh, a tiny bit of this tape because it does go a long way and I like to use my scissors because I can then use them to just find the placement and then turn it around and then again we just need to pull that off 
and then turn this little bit all the way around and you see we've got a nice little bow. Now this one's already constructed and you can see this is where I've used these little tiny dots and oh, I don't think I'm ever going to get through these, there's so many of them, but again I can pop that down and then easy peel off the backing of it and then it's just a simple case, let me open the box, of applying that to the front of my box as well. Now. I'm obviously opening the lids just to give myself a bit of purchase when I'm pressing that down. Oops. And again, I'm trying to put these on alternate sides to the numbers just so it adds a bit of decoration. So I will put the links in the description box before if you've not come across this um, tiny gift box die from Long Fawn or the adhesive samplers. But you can see how super quick that was to make. And these look adorable stacked on top of each other. And I am going to just show you some photos now of the finished product and how they look. So I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've got any comments about this video, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. That way YouTube knows to recommend similar ones for you. And finally, if you'd like to see more from me, and I hope so, please subscribe by clicking the link below. I post new content every weekend.